Let's get into the reptile runes and charm. What up, Axie fam? The first reptile rune. Delayed protection. When your turn starts, gain 12 shield for each attack this Axie took in the previous turn. Oh, that's kind of weird. That's kind of hard to use. Very high skill cap. Let's go to the next one. I actually got leaked by uh, 1437 I was in his live stream and he brought it up and I was like, no, no, I wanted to be. So this one I already know, but this one's insane. Poison touch. Apply one poison to attacker. Take 20% less damage from poisoned enemies. We've been trying to figure this one out. I think it triggers anytime your opponent attacks. So it doesn't trigger when your opponent plays skill cards or powers or secrets, but every time they use an attack card, I think they get one poison stack. And I think it triggers, this triggers the poison resolves and then the reptile takes less damage. That's what I think, I think is absurd. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is Venom Master. Attack cards apply one additional poison. Non multi hit attacks deal one damage per two poison on target. It says attack cards apply one additional poison. So, yeah, I'm gonna do one additional poison. It says non multi hit attacks wouldn't trigger from fur balls and stuff like that. Deal one bonus damage per two poison. So if they have 10 poison stacks, it would do five bonus damage. So let's go to the fourth one. It says Regenerator. It says when your turn starts, cleanse two random debuff if HP is full or recover 10% of max HP if his HP isn't full. Yo, reptiles are sick, man. All right, let's go on to the charms. The first bit of reptile charms. The first is reptile talisman of faith five. Three potential points required. It says enhance a healing card, heal stat plus 10. Let's go to the next one. Sticky lizard. Enhance any card to add retain Four potential points required. We have Reptile Energy Drink M. Enhance any card, add banish, but the card space stat is plus 20%. Four potential points required. And we have Viper's Venom, the unique for the reptiles. Five potential points required. Enhance an attack card. Attack applies to poison. Come again. Now, one thing I have noticed is that when you're building your teams, it seems to be that you can only use potential points of that type for that card. So if you have a flavorful card on say like a bird with Sakura, you couldn't improve Sakura to make it cheaper with coupon because it doesn't have the plant potential points to use towards it. You can't apply the bird as a generic. You can't apply the, because I don't know if it's gonna stay that way. I don't, I don't think it's gonna stay that way, but in the Axie.Tech builder, when you're building your team, say you have a uh, near perfect plant, but it has a reptile part. You couldn't use any of your potential points on that reptile part for that Axie because you don't have any reptile potential points. That's something to think about. Pure reptiles, they're gonna have a lot of potential. Let's go on to the very last one. The very last ones, here we go. It says, Reptile Talisman of Vitality 4. It says, Enhance any card, Axie's HP plus 20. Two potential points required. Now we have the Reptile Talisman of Faith 4, which improves the healing stat by six. Two potential points required. And let's go on to the Reptile one. Here we go. It says uh, four potential points required. Gecko Mask. It says enhance any card to apply taunt. Gecko Mask is going to make things complicated. <laughs> oh no. All right, and the last one is a uh, Reptile Talisman of Vitality. Five, three potential points required. Axie's HP plus 35. What has you most excited? Gecko Mask is pretty absurd. It's all we got right now, but I think Gecko Mask is nuts. Being able to put Gecko Mask on Jar Barrage. Ah, it's so gross. Anyways, thanks for watching. Leave your favorite down in the comments. We'll see you in the next video.